Good morning, Liberty North, and happy Groundhog Day. I'm Hammer Trinidad. And I'm Brent O'Leary. We have, we, have we have a great show for you guys today, so let's get started. The BSU will be hosting a movie night February 9th. It will happen right after school in the library. They will be showing the great debaters, and the entry fee is only $1. Everyone is welcome. The Liberty North TSA is holding a fundraiser tonight at Panera from 4 to 8 p.m. A portion of the sales will be donated to TSA when you show the flyer. Check your email for more information, including an attached flyer. And make sure to stop by after school. And, as you all know, Diversity Club is doing their rose fundraiser, so for $5, you can send a rose to somebody special. What do the roses mean? Well, um, a red one like this means love, right? Yeah. And uh, pink ones mean crush. And if you get a white one, you just got friend zoned. Hammer, you're used to getting friend zoned, right? Anyways, the groundhog saw its shadow, so sadly, that means six more weeks of winter, Brent. And we had Joe go interview some middle schoolers about that, so let's go check it out. I'm at SVMS, and I'm about to ask some kids if they know anything about Groundhog's Day. Do you know what Groundhog's Day is? Uh, they pull a road out of the ground. Okay, have you ever seen a groundhog before? Not in real life. So, do you know what Groundhog's Day is? Yes. And what is that? Groundhog's Day is if a groundhog sees its shadow, that means spring is coming. Have you ever even seen a groundhog? No. Do you know what Groundhog's Day is? Yeah. Well, what is it? It's like a day where like, the groundhog comes out and it tells you um, something. I don't, I don't remember what it is. Yeah, I'm sure. Have you ever even seen a groundhog? No. Hmm. So, Groundhog's Day is coming up. Do you know what Groundhog's Day is? I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't really know a lot about it. Do you know why it's called Groundhog's Day? Something about a groundhog coming out of the ground on that day. Have you ever even seen a groundhog? No. So, Groundhog's Day is coming up. Do you know what Groundhog's Day is? No. Uh, do you know why it's called Groundhog's Day? There's a groundhog. Have you ever even seen a groundhog? No. Thanks, Joe. And now, sports. Liberty North and welcome to VP Sports. I'm Peyton Price. Jordan is not here today, but it's okay. We have a short show, so we'll get through it without him. We had nothing going on in Liberty North Athletics last night, so we're going to jump ahead and talk about the big game coming up on Sunday. After the long two-week wait, the Super Bowl is finally this Sunday night between the Patriots and the Falcons. I'm excited about this one. I think it's going to be a high-scoring shootout. and might come down to who has the ball last in their hands, either Matt Brady Matt Ryan or Tom Brady. Both teams' defenses are definitely going to have to step up and have a chance in this to give their team a chance in this game as both offenses are going to be flying the ball around and getting the balls to the receivers plenty. I'm going to go with the Falcons in this game, 31 to 27. The ball's going to be flying around. I think Julio Jones is unstoppable. He's going to have two touchdowns. I think Matt Ryan will throw four touchdowns and a late Tom Brady interception on their game-winning drive will cost the Patriots the game this year. Now let's throw it to a Super Bowl promo to get you guys excited for the Super Bowl and see who North thinks is going to win the Super Bowl. Thomas showing blitz. He comes with a blitz. Falcons pick it up, and there's Jones. Flag is down. Julio Jones with a catch. Still going. Still inbounds. Touchdown, Atlanta. Third five. Brady. Well protected. Finds a time, and that goes in. So We want the Patriots to win. That's his third, third down conversion. Back to him, they go. The flea flicker. Brady to the end zone. And it's a New England touchdown. Right back to Hogan again. I think the Falcons are going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, probably. Let's go 27 21. They're all up on the line for Green Bay. Now, some back out. End zone, Jones. Touchdown. New England's going to win the Super Bowl because you don't bet against Brady and Belichick. Now, Chris Hogan wide open. He's got 180 yards. Receiving. Into the secondary. Now driving. 
Surrounded by five and six dealers. Still going. Can you believe it? And helping out the offensive line now for the payoff. And for the touchdown. Um, I think the Falcons are probably going to win the Super Bowl. Second down, Ryan escapes. Get a run. Has some room and a touchdown. I think that New England Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. Hearing it out. Intercepted. What an interception. Stepping right in front of this row. Eric Rowe tiptoes down the sideline. Sunday has all the makings to be a classic Super Bowl game, so let's hope it lives up to the hype, unlike a lot of the blowups that we've had so far during the playoffs this year. And hopefully we will get the high scoring shootout and it will come down to the last possession. That's all I have for your sports news today. This has been VP Sports. I'm Peyton Price. Have a great Thursday, Eagles. Good morning, Liberty North, and happy Groundhog Day. I'm Hammer Trinidad. And I'm Brent O'Leary. We have a great show for you guys today, so let's get started. Good morning, Liberty North, and happy Groundhog Day. I'm Hammer Trinidad. And I'm Brent O'Leary. We got a great show for you guys today, so let's get started. Dude, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Good morning, Liberty North, and happy Groundhog Day. I'm Hammer Trinidad. And I'm Brent O'Leary. We've got a great show for you guys today. Let's get started. Get it? It's Groundhog Day. And please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.